Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem on the extremal principle from Angle's Problem Solving Strategies book, example number eight. I suggest you try this problem out for a minimum of 10 minutes, ideally 20 minutes, but not more than half an hour. If on the other hand you like to go along with us, put your first idea out on paper, your first like extremal principle idea in the next five minutes. So now let's begin. So each lattice point in the plane is labeled by an integer either, and a positive integer actually. And we have that every number, every like lattice point, is equal to the arithmetic mean of all of its neighbors up, right, down, and left. And now we must prove that all of these actually have the same number label. So how do we do that? Well, let's see, like, we have x is equal to a plus b plus c plus d over 4k. So 4x is equal to this. Now, is there some sort of way we can say what a, b, c, or d have to be? Can we pick some type of x or some type of a or some type of b, c, or d such that we get that all of these are equal? And then maybe if they have, have the same property, all the others are equal, and then we can you spread out. I invite you to take a minute or two and think about that. And here's the thing. For any natural number, any set of natural numbers, like you can have the set of all the labels, all the numbers that are labels, like this is a subset of the natural numbers, it can be finite, infinite, doesn't matter, but it has a smallest element. Let the value of that element be k, and pick an x such that like x is equal to k. Now what do we have? We have 4k is equal to a plus b plus c plus d. And we know that both a, b, c, and d are greater than or equal to k. So this is greater than or equal to 4k. And if at any place we don't have equality, if we have a strict inequality, then this would be strictly greater than 4k, a contradiction, as you can see. So now this means that all a, b, c, and d are all equal to k. And now we can extend this upwards. And the way we can do that, hmm, like as there, I think we could almost sort of say for any k we will have, okay, I mean for every k, for every number actually that's labeled k, we have that it's up, down, left and right neighbors are also going to be labeled k. That's basically what we proved here. So now if the first thing that's labeled k is some element, call it I'll let it be on A, B. If we need to go to some C, D, we just go to C and then we go to D going up and then like right then up or like it's done. Basically this finishes up the problem. And I want to show you this to you. Like this is something that we use often with when you have natural numbers and the extremal principle is that any set of natural numbers has, any, I mean actually any subset of the natural numbers has a smallest element. Not necessarily a biggest one, say the set of all even numbers. Even natural numbers doesn't have the biggest element, but it has a smallest one too. And any set you think of, of the natural numbers has a smallest element, the so-called wall ordering principle. And here you can do that like using the extremal principle. And this solves our problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.